What's up everybody, it's Seraphic Thunder, and welcome to Horror X Plus. Um, I saw this game on Steam, didn't really know anything about it, but I took a look at the uh, trailer and thought it looked interesting. So, uh, doesn't appear that there's any content really on YouTube, so I wanted to give it a try and share it with you guys. Now, I already... Uh, attempted to play this just a little bit. I played about 30 minutes of it and uh, so far uh, it does seem to be a pretty fun game although it doesn't really do anything to explain the gameplay in the beginning. Uh, we're gonna hash that out as we play through but with that let's get into it. Just gonna do normal Try to get used to the controls. You've come to an abandoned hospital for an experience. Psychiatric hospital, St. Valentine's. Pretty cool lightning effect there. Yeah, we're going to attempt to get used to the controls. Uh, I'm uh, not a... I've not been playing PC for years, I guess is what I'm trying to say. What? played this before I didn't uh, that box I don't recall that doing that so uh, it's an interesting change but yeah I, um, I kind of grew up playing consoles so I've only just now been kind of getting used to uh, used to PC controls and it's still kind of weird for me so probably gonna get me killed but you know whatever so we'll say one thing that I did discover uh, apparently this is some sort of loot based game or uh, not I don't know about loot based but you you have to craft things which is why I'm going around right now and uh, picking up all this stuff but it doesn't really sort of I guess flesh that out in any way like the way the game started, that's kind of uh, what we get in the beginning. I'm going to be careful picking up stuff because I still need to pick up uh, batteries. There is a battery meter for the flash flashlight. Uh, even though I've heard that, that still kind of makes me uneasy. And then there's also a lighter. You hit number two, but you need gas for that. So, as far as the controls go, that's about as much as I've flushed out to this point. So, By the way, if you guys got any tips on how to uh, on a maybe, I guess, just a way to kind of easily transition from console to PC, please let me know in the comments. Um, 
if you've played Outlast or I guess many of the other sort of horror games as of late. What the heck is that? Oh, it's just a sprinkler. Uh, there's a hiding mechanic. Did forget that. The experiments conducted in this hospital seem to be attracting spirits. The front door is closed and the windows are unbreakable. There is no escape from here. Huh. Uh, as you see, this is a sort of inventory. That's why I don't want to pick up too much stuff. Um, let's see. What is it? Oh, I actually do want to pick that up though. Fortunately, we have succeeded in sealing this place. The spirits don't seem to recognize this place. It's a safe place, but you never know when spirits will break in. I need to be careful. But I don't know how many days have passed. So it seems like... <coughs> excuse me. That someone... Lighter fluid. Inventory is full. See what I'm saying? Uh... We're going to take care of that here in a bit, though, so. Um, your inventory will fill up quite quickly. <clears throat> Holy, I'm losing my mind. Effing hospital. Somebody save me, please. The Evan doctor is trying to kill me. I feel like <clears throat> my soul is being eaten. <clears throat> Not. I don't. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't care what kind of experience I was looking to have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to read something like that. I would just immediately leave. But on that note, I'm not the type of person to do something like this in the first place. Uh, hold on. I hope no one ever comes to this hospital, even as a joke. I'm too late there, guy. <clears throat> um, when you think about it, you know, the sort of best case scenario in my opinion is when you're looking to explore some abandoned psychiatric hospital or you know spend the night in a graveyard type thing yes we'll save you save at these little glowing boards I've only seen one other one uh, as I played for about 30 minutes the other day um Best case scenario is nothing happens, right? If, if something happens, it's immediately bad. What is this? Uh, so why would you do that, like, to yourself? Document added. Let's see. Uh, you guys can read that yourselves. I don't want to say that word. Uh... As it's probably fine, 
but I, I'm not, I don't really understand the YouTube algorithm as of yet, so I don't know what things are okay and not okay to say. Um, but yeah, like, by all means though, what I was saying before, I mean, I'm not gonna knock it, you know, if that's something a person wants to do, but like, what, what do you get out of it? I mean, are you hoping to find evidence of the supernatural? Definition. Dysthymia is a form of depression, also known as dysthymic disorder. The main symptoms are similar to depression, but milder, and symptoms last for more than two years. Because of this, many people with this condition say they have been depressed for as long as they can remember. Causes. The cause of dysthymia, or dysthymia, is not clearly understood. Some argue that it is similar to the causes of major depression while others argue that it is a different condition with symptoms similar to major depression but a different cause. Based on current research, the most likely causes of dysthymia include the following factors. Biological causes, changes in sleep, especially REM sleep, adrenal hormones and thyroid hormones, psychological factors, People who are chronically depressed question whether they are worthy of love and tend to look to external factors for answers. People with dysthymic disorder become easily depressed when the person who cares for them is gone. They often lack confidence and feel helpless. Symptoms. The symptoms of dysthymic or dysthymia are similar to those of major depression, although less intense. In both dysthymia and depression, people feel low or irritable. You may lack interest in things, seem to have no energy, and appear tired. Your appetite and weight may increase or decrease. You may sleep too much or have trouble falling asleep. You may have trouble concentrating. Indecisiveness and pessimism are also common. Your self-image deteriorates, resulting in low self-esteem. While major depression is often episodic, dysthymia begins in childhood and comes on more steadily and lasts over a longer period of time. People with dysthymia tend to believe that these feelings of depression are part of their personality, so it may not even occur to them that they should seek help from a doctor, family member, or friend. In fact, people with dysthymia are more likely than average to develop major depression. Huh. I wonder, is that a real thing? Uh, Obviously, we we all know about depression. That's the first time I've read that term. Also, if I was mispronouncing that, I do apologize. Is it dysthymia or dysthymia? Dysthymia. Anyways. I knew that was going to happen, and it it still bothered me. Whoa, what was that? It's kind of weird because the... Um, another document. The, you get stuck on stuff, it feels like. The direct causes of schizophrenia include neurotransmitter imbalances. The direct causes of schizophrenia include neurotransmitter imbalances, abnormalities in brain structure and function, and abnormal neuronal proliferation. The disease is usually triggered by a combination of genetic predisposition and environmental factors. It usually first occurs in early adulthood and affects people throughout their lives. Extreme stress, especially from the outside, can trigger schizophrenia. In addition, a history of domestic violence, abuse, etc. increases the chances of developing schizophrenia. 
It's unclear how much family issues play a role in the development of the disorder, but the prognosis for treatment is better when parents are supportive than when they are hostile. Genetics are also thought to play a role in the risk of developing schizophrenia. One study found a 40% concordance rate for schizophrenia in identical twins with a 13% risk of schizophrenia if one parent is schizophrenic and nearly 50% if both parents are schizophrenic. Schizophrenia can also be triggered by psychotropic drugs with one study suggesting that psychedelic drug lysergic acid dithylamide or dithylamide can cause schizophrenia, LSD. Uh, I'm beginning to feel like I should have taken a um, medical terminology class to play this game. Nice pentagram with the book Satan in it, but this is a safe spot. Word. No, I'm not gonna save just yet. Come over here. So I literally just happened upon this. Um, Because I didn't really, the first time I came in this room, I didn't even look over here. I just, but when I came in here again, uh, I saw the floating tea and was like, I wonder what that is. Insufficient. Nice. All right. So cancel. Uh, oh yeah, I don't want to scrap that. And then I have, you get materials, so, and components, which you have a craft list, and it tells you, you know, what's required to craft whatever that thing is. Oh, and my battery died, which is fine. I'm in here now. Uh, I really want this invincible potion, but we're going to have to collect some more stuff, and... Yeah, but outside of that, I really, that's pretty much everything, like, you guys now know what I know, but I have no idea, sort of, what the purpose of this game is, because if I wanted to, I could just leave. So I don't know if, like, the uh, idea is, like, just how long can you survive? Or, since we're in here, go ahead.
also, if I seem to be talking too much, it's kind of to help me uh, actually play this game. So the, the fucking recording, whoops, my bad, is like, it's in front of like this message, so I have no idea what it says. It says doctor something. gonna look back when I uh, look at this recording and I'm gonna be like oh that that would have made sense Rehabilitation refers to the social and vocational training of people with schizophrenia to enable them to live a more active social life in the community. Many people with schizophrenia, schizophrenia develop the illness in their 20s when they are supposed to be working on their education or careers, and the symptoms of schizophrenia make it difficult to build the skills and abilities needed for employment because their ability to concentrate and achieve is significantly reduced compared to before the illness. Okay. An affective disorder is a mental illness characterized by a disturbance in emotions, mood, or behavior. In psychiatry, various mood disorders are categorized, including major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. Don't send this report in the future. What?
There are emotional disorders that affect people who exercise power in some form or another, of which the hubris syndrome, megalomania, bulimia, and narcissism stand out. Progression dysthymia can start as early in life as childhood and is chronic. The treatment outlook for people with dysthymia is fairly good. The duration and severity of symptoms are often significantly reduced and symptoms often disappear altogether. However, even if treatment is successful, maintenance treatment is needed to prevent symptoms from reoccurring. Without treatment, the risk of developing major depression increases. Uh, Psychodynamic, insight-oriented, and interpersonal psychotherapies can help you sort out conflicts in key relationships or explore the history behind your symptoms. Treatment should always include education about depression, and support from those around you is essential. Uh, for depression, yeah, there's a little more about this dysthymia disorder. I'm going to have to read up on it. Thank you. 
repair materials. But nice, let's go. So we need two more rare materials. And we need two epic materials. Holy shit! No! Oh shit, I'm stuck.
probably gonna get me killed. Let's see. Schizophrenia has a prodrominal incubation period of months to years before the characteristic symptoms of hallucinations, delusions, and disturbed thinking appear. But during this time, it is difficult to notice the subtle changes that occur. The most basic change is the appearance of deviant behavior in many areas of daily life. Examples of deviations you feel unclean and dirty because you don't wash, bathe, or clean up after yourself. Wearing hair all the time. Self-care, such as dressing and applying makeup, is sloppy in a different way than before. You lose interest in your appearance. Sleeping hours become irregular, sometimes switching between day and night. Vogue complaints of headaches and pains, nervousness, irritability, anxiety or nervousness at the slightest hint of trouble increased mood swings increased anger and aggressive behavior difficulty concentrating resulting in poor work performance if you're a student your grades drop for no apparent reason excessive preoccupation with philosophical and religious topics increased thoughts and talk about death and suicide spending less time with others and more time alone becomes less talkative and often appears to be thinking about something. They start to hear hallucinations. Another characteristic is that almost all patients feel anxious before the onset of schizophrenia, sometimes vaguely, sometimes specifically, as if they, have, if they will have a hard time adjusting to the world and living in it. Sometimes with an intense fear that they will cease to exist. From the point of view of those around the person, these changes can be summarized in one word. They don't feel like the same person. They seem different. Of course, it's also possible for a person to develop schizophrenia suddenly with few changes. It's important to keep in mind that schizophrenia is particularly common between the ages of 15 and 25, so it can be difficult to distinguish it from the emotional instability that is common common in normal adolescence. All right. Back. And so you need to have boxes. The classic course of schizophrenia is a cycle of exacerbation and remission and the first five years after diagnosis can be particularly predictive of a parent outcome or a patient's outcome excuse me in general positive symptoms improve over time but there are reports of negative symptoms worsening the onset can be abrupt but more often that's more often than not it's a gradual worsening of several symptoms these gradually worsening symptoms are known as prodromal symptoms. Early therapeutic intervention during the prodromal period can help improve the course of treatment. I mean, I don't know about you guys. 
digging this experience. I'd rather much be at home. just recently got into. Was there more stuff in here? I don't play, um, at least not yet. Just been collecting a um, crazy amount of uh, figurines or not figurines, miniatures to the uh, I don't know what would you say, like the detriment of my wallet. Bank account is not happy with me, but collecting and painting miniatures is pretty fun. I'm actually. Really excited uh, to get the Farsight and Lionel Johnson models. Whenever they come to my local store. who don't have hospital bills. Spamming my email. Kills me. What? I was kind of hoping to die right there because this video has been going for almost an hour. just managed to jump scare me. 
ghostly spirits, crazy psychos keep talking no matter how many times you kill them. Can you kill them? because like there's nowhere you can go to feel safe no matter sort of where you walk you feel exposed So those actually remain in your inventory. Ah, uh, they're crafting items, so I need to work my way back to the first floor. It's either that or something. I escort me into the afterlife, but what the f come on, bro.
save now? Or kill me, please? Common symptoms include inability to properly perceive external reality, experience incongruous hallucinations, delusions, visions, and auditory hallucinations, excessive tension in interpersonal relationships, indifference to the views of others, and bizarre behavior. It may also be accompanied by language-related disorders or mood disorders. It is a typical psychosis that worsens social activities and family relationships. seen that or I was about to say that but they're those two save spots and I'm can I use this or use health potions it's nice. back into the further we go to uh -oh. Oh. oh no I can't okay I was gonna try to save from there but that doesn't work either so we must continue to the same I can't even, I can't pick anything up either. And the music that happened when we first entered this hall definitely tells me there's something up in here. Maybe it was just a discovery.
<laughs> the hospital is scary as hell. I agree. still so dang dark even with my flashlight I know it's Hey, what's up, buddy? Yo, how you doing? <coughs> I want to live. Buddy. Use that.
think that's gonna do it for this one, uh, guys. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Gonna answer that. But yeah, I uh, I don't know. I really don't know what the point of this game is, uh, other than I guess to survive as long as you can. Um, we went on multiple floors, got attacked by a couple different things, but yeah, I don't know. I'll do some research and, and I'll see maybe if we can't do the next playthrough with a little bit more, uh, I don't know, of a purpose, I guess, rather than just kind of exploring. But uh, with that, I'm Seraphic Thunder, and I hope to hear from you guys next time.